Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and today we're going to be installing the Pro Clip into a 2010 Prius. Now this clip actually fits right here, and then uh, will allow for the dock of your choice to mount on top of it. So what we need to do first is prep the area, then we remove the adhesive tape from this and we stick it in place. So you put this in between the console here, pry a little bit, and it allows us to snap it on nicely. Now this should close. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, nice tight fit. It still closes. So there is the mount. Now what we need to do is put the actual dock on. So to do that, I have a large screwdriver. I'll undo the, the screw in the center. That is a long screw. Keeps going. There we go. That's the screw in the center and this is going to fit on here like so. Now the one thing is is once you screw into this you void the warranty or I'm sorry you can't return it. You don't void the warranty but you can't return it. Here is the screws. Let's go ahead and open these. Let's go ahead and get the screws ready. Now I have a smaller screwdriver for this reason and let's go ahead and place them in. Now it looks like it's going to fit this way so let's go ahead and put them in place. Maybe this screwdriver will do better, yeah. It's made a little bit better. There we go. Screws right in nicely, just give it a little support there. My finger. Now I picked the pass-through dock. This pass-through dock allows for a cable below it. So Go ahead and put this in. There we go. Now, based on how tight you tighten this, allows you uh, swivel or not. So, I want this to be able to close. And there we can close it. Now, it is pretty tight. Let me loosen it a little bit. See, now it can swivel a little bit. That's uh, pretty much where I want it anyway. So that's it. Now what I need to do is I need to get the pass-through connector. And in this car, there's an auxiliary right here in this uh, glove box here, or I'm sorry, armrest, and it's down in the bottom. Since I've chosen a pass-through dock and I'm sitting in the driver's seat here, this allows for a pass-through of a cable through the bottom of it. And I've chosen a cable that actually, I bought this on Amazon for about $10. You can get them on eBay, but they don't ship quite as well. And they're coming from Hong Kong. This came in two days. So can't with Amazon Prime, it works pretty well. So this right here plugs into the bottom and it's a pass through. Now what I need to do is route this. And what it does is it splits the USB to USB for power, auxiliary for auxiliary. And so it'll charge and you can use your iPhone right through the auxiliary. Now I prefer an auxiliary to USB because I love the, U the user interface of the iPhone. And let's go ahead and pull this out of my pocket. We'll place it right in the dock. And there we have it. Now I can use my iPhone just like I wanted. And then it's right in arm's reach. Here's my hand, I can go here. I can tilt it if I want and I can see it perfectly. So this works really nice, still allows room for your drink holder or whatever you want uh, to put in there. And you have your iPhone right at reach. It's a really nice system. I really like Pro Clips. Uh, check them out. It's ProClipUSA.com. If you have any questions though, please feel free to ask. These are really, really well made products. And this is future proof because this actually, assuming Apple keeps continuing, using their 30 pin connector. This actually expands by using the thumb wheels on the back as you saw in the unboxing. So this is set up for without a case right now, but you can use it with a case without and it works great. If you have any questions, like I said, feel free to ask, comment. I love to hear from you. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.